Hello everybody, this is Wraith here. Welcome to another map tour. This map tour is Old Land. It comes with two maps, large farm and small farm. The creator of this map is the Lort, L-O-R-T. As you can see, this is the starting point and is a fantasy map set somewhere in the north of Germany. It has a small and large farm, shop, BGA, cattle dealer, 100 collectibles, and those are worth a thousand apiece. Four sale stations, seven productions, 45 purchasable areas, 24 square and angular fields, five meadows, field grass, new crop, uh, soy drink and heat as new products, and precision farming DLC is supported with new paintable decorations. So here's the top down of the map. It does look like it has all of the standard products, uh, including field grass, nice town square area. We'll zoom in here. Drop off points, you have a gas station, electric. You have a cafe, spinnery, biomass heating plant, animal dealer, grain mill, dairy. Looks like here's some factories, workshop, and your vehicle shop, of course. So this is kind of quick view of the town. It does have a lot of nice detail, so I did want to include this. This is the uh, equipment shop, all the things that you need. Looks like lots of nice areas so that you could, uh, you know, put tractors in here or, you know, make it look like a working dealership. Pretty neat stuff. Your supermarket, of course. All the gates are manually openable. There's some really good detail through here. Got some nice boardwalks, people walking on the street, there is traffic. Very nice. Little church. It does have quite a homey feel to it. And there are some things in here that you can do as far as uh, productions and whatnot. So, very nice to look around. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but uh, let you explore yourself. Several large fields, and they range from relatively large area, 16 hectares. So, uh, you know, that's 38, about 38 acres. Uh, that's about 33, about 12. So, and the price is 205. So they're going to run you some good money. The the smaller ones you can pick up for you know 30,000 stuff like that. The small fields that are owned with the small farm and large farm are four, three, two, one, and five. Also, you also own all the areas for 15, nine, and eight. It comes with what that come with. Edit. So the starting farms come with 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 15, 19, and 18. It just depends on whether you want to start the small farm up here that has its own type of equipment or the large farm which has different equipment. So it's completely up to you. On the small farm, we have cows, sheep, your farmhouse, a small greenhouse, and obviously liquid manure. And you have a sawmill right there. On the large farm, on the large farm, again, you have that liquid manure and you have covered manure storage, large cow barn, grain storage, pig sty, and then down here is some equestrian farms and a debris crusher. And then a windmill over here. Boop. All right, guys. So we are at the small farm. The entrance is up through here. 
There are collectibles, like I said. Uh, they're worth about a thousand piece, so have fun finding those. Comes in, and your cow barn is on the right here. Looks like we do start off with some cows already. 35 total cows that you can get in there. It's nice. Looks like we have the uh, Pottinger Boss Alpine right here. And if our memory serves me properly, that's a 16.1 cubic meters. We have our cultivator here, and this is the Kuhn Pro Lander 7500. We will go over more of the specifics of the stats of each of the vehicles later. Coming up here, looks like we have a New Holland. Looks like it's had a little bit of use. That's the CH7.70. Very nice harvester. And this looks like it is the 28-foot New Holland. Yep, correct. Open sesame. Looks like we have a sheep farm. Nice. Start with five sheep, 25 maximum. All right. Bent 724 Vario. We have the Massey Ferguson MF 55 145. The Kloss Axion 870. And the Pottinger Terrasem C6F. Looks like we have a seven furrow plow. Small mower to get started and a tetter. Looks like a pretty good sized one. And then here's that back end mower. So that one's pretty nice, the Nova Cat. And then we have the Rudolph TDK 301 RP with my favorite hookups right there. No uh, carriages that never let you back up. So that's pretty nice. So this is the large farm. It is directly south on the main road. There are collectibles all around, it looks like. Yep. As you can see, you have a lot more area to put all of your implements, and the implements are different. So it looks like this is another seven furrow plow. We have the Strassman Zelon CEF 25001DO. Very large cultivator right here, as with the Lemkin Coralin 9840. And you have a power tube by Brantner, 23065. You have the classic Fent Favorite 515C. And it looks like it's all loaded up there with uh, power implements and weight. Slurry tanks, covered manure. And that is a very large class. That's the uh, Convio Flex 1080. And the class 750 Triton. Nice. Go over here and open this bad boy up. Nice animations. Very good. Okay. And we have the uh, class Axion 960. It's a tracked vehicle. Nice and powerful. Some Polish style barns over here. They do open. Go. And we have the uh, Duchfar 2650 TTV and Farm Tech Slurry Spreader. Little storage shed. I don't know the capacity of this pigsty right here, but uh, you do have the sheep and the cows up at the small farm still able for use. So just be wary of that that does exist. And this is a large cow barn. 
go. Nice. Looks like it has di different triggers. Do need to put water in here. Looks like we have the Kuhn Espresso 6000 RC. Slurry. Cal capacity is 150, so a lot more capacity on this one. Pretty nice. Okay, we're going to look at uh, all the implements on small farm. Starting off with small tractors, we have that, uh, like I said, that Mass Ferguson 55, 145, 145 horsepower. Medium tractors, you have the Axion 870 with 295 horses. The Fent Vario 724 with 246 horses. Nice right there. The Harvester, like I said, is the New Holland CH770. Uh, comes out with 374 horses. And... It also has that header, 28 feet, standard crop types. That looks good. You have the Rudolph 18.5 cubic meter capacity, and it does hold everything, so that looks like that's real nice. I am noticing that there is some damage on this machinery, so, you know, it's like getting an old farm. It's going to have damage, not brand new equipment. And here we have that seven furrow plow. It uh, does uh, put out at 3.5 meters. The cultivator, and this is uh, the Prolander 7500 at 7.5 meters, requires at least 250 horses. So you need some of the, the medium tractors at least to pull that. The Cedar is the Pot Pottinger Terrasem C6F, and is sitting right at 210 horses for the required power. It is 6 meter width, and it does look like you can load that up with seeds and fertilizer. Uh, you start with two mowers, uh, both by Pottinger, the Novacat A10 Crossflow, requires 160 horsepower, and the Novacat 301 AM ED Pro. This one requires 70 horses, so it looks like you'll get a total width out there of uh, right around 10 meters. So that's that's pretty nice. That's actually very nice. We have a tether. It is 9 meters total, 80 horsepower to run by a Bicon. There is actually a windmower. I must must have uh, missed it. Uh, the Simp Air 300 F Alp Forage Wagon was the Boss Alpine 251. Run, running again at that 16.1 cubic meters. Trailer header for the 28-foot header there. Okay, starting equipment for large farm. We have the Fent 515C, 150 horses, so that boy, bad boy is maxed out. Medium tractors, you come with the uh, Deutsche Fahr 7250. TTV, 247 horses, and the Class Axion 960 Terra, and that has 445 horses for your pulling pleasure. Then we have the Triton 750, 435 horses, 1,200 liter capacity. Your header, this is a 10.8 meter header. It comes with the corn header, 6 meters. It comes with the Bratnet power tube. Capacity on this is 22 cubic meters. You have a seven furrow plow. Again, 3.5 meters, same as the small farm. Cultivator is an 8.4 meter by Lemkin. Cedar is a Kuhn Espresso 6000 RC. Has a good capacity. It holds uh, seeds and fertilizer. 270 horses to haul that. Slurry, slurry spreader is uh, 8,200 cubic meters of slurry. And this is an 80 horsepower requirement by Farm Tech. Your forage wagon is a Straussman Zelon CFS 2500DO, 95 horses to run it, and it has a capacity of 23,000 cubic meters. Front lower is a Hauer 190 on the favorite. And then you have a bale fork, your trailer header, and weight. So that's the small and large farm and all the implements included. So, you know, there's quite a lot of things to do from here. One thing I do want to note with these maps is if you play on farm manager or hard, you get all of the equipment still. You just don't get any land. So you will have starting equipment wherever you start, just no land, and they will be in the appropriate places as they are on easy farmers. So please keep that in mind uh, when you load up your maps so you can plan accordingly. Anyway, this is the Old Farms Mew. 
This is the Old Farms map series. There are two maps. This is on console as well as on PC. It is made by the Lort. And I hope you enjoyed this tour. Please see more of my content, more of my map tours. This is Wraith. Out.